27 inches of mercury. Okay. I am working on the Red F-150 and I thought that I would actually look at the air conditioning on it. And as you can see, whoops, it is not pulling a vacuum very well at all. In fact, that is all that it will pull is about 27 inches and it doesn't even hold. So there is some leaks somewhere. I suspect it could be there. <clears throat> I also suspect the compressor. Of course, all of these fittings could be suspect also because I don't remember if I replaced the O-rings or not. I'm thinking that I did. I can't remember. <clears throat> Gorgeous day today, 67 degrees. Uh, and I've checked that. Oh, wow. Well. The first time that I hooked this all up, it wasn't even pulling a vacuum at all. Then I realized the hose wasn't tight. And I knew then tighten the hose up and then it was, then it would start holding a vacuum, pulling a vacuum then. So, about 27 inches is all it's going to do. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually pressure check it. Uh, you're not supposed to do that with air. But the whole system is apart. It's been apart, full of moisture and everything else. So it's not really going to matter at this point. So I am going to pressure check it. And check here and a few other spots. I also suspect to be evaporator could be bad too I have since shut the uh, vacuum pump off and I have blocked off the lines and you can see that the leak is substantial enough that you can visibly see the gauge climb up to zero again see we're now to about seven inches of mercury and it just keeps falling and falling and it takes about five minutes for it to lose vacuum completely so it is a pretty significant leak probably a condenser or an evaporator if it's that bad okay i found my problems i pressure checked it and right off the bat i discovered a leak it was right there at the inlet from the high side into the evaporator. Uh, in fact, there was no O-ring on it and the line was loose. So I forgot when I pulled the orifice tube out of it, I forgot to tighten this line back up. Oh yeah, this has no orifice tube in it, by the way. Um, this line was loose. Evidently, I just laid the lines in and forgot to come back to them when I hooked the AC up on this because the manifold here on top of the compressor that was loose so I have all the connections tight and now I'm right at 28 inches of vacuum almost 29 inches uh, so I'm gonna let that run for a few minutes then I'm going to turn it off and see if it holds this time Okay, I've come back <clears throat> about 45 minutes later. No, nah, right at 30 minutes later. And it has leaked down an amount, but nowhere near what it has before. So what I am going to do is I'm going to replace the O-rings. <coughs> Probably not today. Well, not today. I don't have the O-rings. I have to get them. i replace that one, that one. That one was pretty bad shape. And... It needs the manifold O-rings replaced. Then after I do that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. It would probably hold a charge because the rest of the system, it didn't really look bad to begin with. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know how long it had been down, but I'm, I'm going to try it just to see what happens.
I priced out a compressor and evaporator and all that. Uh, about this time last year, I never got around to it for obvious reasons. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the O-rings and see if it holds a charge. Even, you know, uh, if I have to put an evaporator in it or, or a condenser, uh, well, it might even have to have a compressor. I'm not sure yet how to get into that. Well, anyway. And I also checked the AC on the flex. And it seemed like it works okay. I guess. I don't know. It seemed to me like it should blow colder than it does, but I don't know. Well, anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.